Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. As you can see, we have made the journey back from the island over here to Lost Island. Seems that we got the Overseer done and all that kind of stuff squared away over there. Something I want to do over here today is a little bit more taming from the Ark Editions mod. So, we're going for one of the sea turtles. So you've got the giant sea turtles that we have one tamed. He's still on the north side of the map. And you've got the other ones that kind of roam around. But this one's supposed to be in between those two. And of course, being part of the Arc Editions mod, it has a different taming method. It's going to be passive, but we can use either Kibble or Biotoxin. So we're going to take both, just in case something's kind of buggy or doesn't work. But I think we're going to go ahead and use Biotoxin because, I mean, it's a lot cheaper than making up Kibble. Of course, we've got to make a saddle before we head over there too. And the only thing that sucks is it is way on the other side of the map. And speaking of that, here's something that's kind of weird. So over on the island, our transmitters, whenever I made them small like that, didn't work for scanners. It does over here. So I'm not too sure what's up with that. But it seems like, so we got six of them. And they're all in the same little area. That's kind of where we very first spawned in whenever we started this map. So I don't know. They say they can be up on the beach or down in the water. And apparently it's a good thing to, from what I read, to get aggro on them and drag them out of the water if they're in there. So I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll be on the beach. However, let's see about some biotoxin. We'll take a stack of that and then we'll take some... Well, let's take some medical brew. <laughs> we usually forget that. We usually need it. And where is our kibble? Do we have any kibble? Did I miss the kibble? Where's our kibble? <gasps> Are we out of kibble? Did I forget it in somebody? Oh, dude. So I guess we're not going to be taking kibble. Okay. Not exactly sure. I had a ton of it. Oh, you know what? I bet it's over on... Oh, I left it over on the island. Okay, well, <laughs> hopefully the biotoxin works because that is all that we have. I guess it's a good thing we're doing that kind of tame today. Let's... Ah, oh, man, I really want to take Wingman. We haven't done much with him, but he kind of he causes problems whenever we're taming. Tell you what, we'll take him, and then we'll throw him into a soul trap. Hopefully I can remember before we start taming. Let's change this off of Dino. I don't want to accidentally kill anybody. And I tell you what, we can go ahead and just put that in there. So we're going on the Shadow Main for sure. Let's grab a little bit of scuba gear. Just in case we decide to go ahead and tame it in the water. We need to repair some of this. Take the fins. We don't need the mask. We're going to keep it anyways with us. And that should be good. I think we have enough stuff to go ahead and repair all this too. Oh, we do. Dude, just tell you what, man. It is nice being over here because we got so much resources built up. I was starting to have problems on the island with getting stuff repaired. And then if you didn't see, that is our little trophy we got from the beta. We should have got that from the alpha. But that was from the overseer. Oh, dude, I am so glad that is done. But the only thing that sucks is it is a very long swim over there. I want to take a bird. I'll probably just go on the Shadow Main. I can use his jump. And this is our one that we kind of got raised up and the one I'm keeping for myself. So let's see. I'm going to start heading that way. Hopefully not have any issues. Oh, you know what? We forgot the saddle. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm kind of excited to get over there. I don't know. I like sea turtles, man. They're kind of neat. Let's go ahead and make this saddle up real quick so we can go ahead and test it out while we're over there. Kind of curious how fast it is in the water. And I tell you what, I need to get another ramp put in over here so I don't have to keep going around. Okay, too far, too far. Hang tight there, buddy. I'm guessing it's made in our inventory. Seems like all of the stuff for the Arc Editions is. And it is. Holy crap, dude, that thing is expensive. How big is it? Like the turtle, I mean. Yeah, we're encumbered. No kidding, man. We got like a, a bunch of stuff there. 200 metal ingots isn't bad, but 850 on the hide and 600 fiber. I mean, it's a good bit of wood as well. All right, so we should have the saddle. How heavy? It's only only 20 pounds. <laughs> Interesting. It looks like one of the Diplo saddles, right? It is the right one, though. I'll tell you what, let's grab some paint. I know, I know. Grab some paint. We will be doing a lot of painting here soon, too. I want to play with the dye machine that comes with the S-plus mod. Alright, cool. That is taken care of. So, like I said, I will see you on the other side of the map. Oh, I tell you what, I need to start setting up some little outposts around. Seeing how we're on this map a lot. And that way we can kind of transfer around the map a little bit easier. That's something we'll look into here soon. Just setting up a simple generator and teleporter and stuff.
All right, so we are not too far away. We're kind of up on the ridge. It's just above it. And dude, so I was farming up a lot of the parts over on the island that we need for the the Arco, right? The boss one, the savage one to spawn in. You can't transfer the adrenal glands. It's another one of those items that can't be put into the transmitter. So it kind of sucks. So I'm thinking we'll have to figure out which map we want to do it on for sure. And I'll have to just farm it up there. Over here, I think it only spawns in one at a time. And there isn't one, is there? There's not. Yeah, see, we might not do it on this map. We might do it over on the island. Over on the island, it spawns between two and six of them at a time. So it's a lot easier to get the glands over there versus here. I don't know. We, we got to go over to Scorch Earth here soon, too. So we'll see how kind of the spawning is over there for them. But out here, I don't know if it's... Let's, let's take a look. It's either going to be in here or on the other side. Oh, wait, that's a level 130. Why is it showing the levels? Is it because we're so close? So there's a 130 at 3410 and a 95 at 3310. So 34 and 3310. Actually, they're all in the same area. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's get out of the water, man. Look at our GPS. Okay, so it is going to be here in this little cove. I don't see them on the top. Is that one there? Or is that a rock? It's a rock. <laughs> it's not, definitely not what we're going for. Oh, there's one there. Okay, tell you what. Let's go ahead and get our scuba gear on. And I need to put Wingman into a soul trap. I don't want him yelling at it. Or yelling at me. He tends to do that quite a bit. I know, buddy. We'll take you out here soon. And I don't know. We might not do this on the Shadow Man. Let's figure out where they're all at. There's another one there, and another one there. Oh, dude, they're like all on the top. So that's a 95 male. Oh, there's the 130. It's a male as well. Are there any females? Be cool to get two of them. A level 55 female. There's a colorful one. It's only a 15. So three males and one female. Hmm, I don't know if we'll... We'll see how hard it is to tame them. We might go ahead. Let's see if we can get this. I don't know if they're aggressive. Or are they passive? If they're passive, we'll just put the Shadow Man in a Soul Trap. I think they are. All right, let's get this down here. Put on some fins. Fetal Biotoxin. Okay, so that does 11% on each one. Oh, dude. So they're not exactly... That big. As long as we don't have any megs over here, this might be a fairly easy tame. I think we'll go ahead and do it. We'll go ahead and get this one for sure. And then maybe we'll grab the female just to see what the breeding comes out as. Because we can always try to breed and get another female high level, right? The thing is, I wonder how long we're going to have to swim around to try to get this guy for a second feeding. I do like his shell, though. It's kind of like a white and gray color. And I'm hoping that it goes kind of like some of the other teams. Whenever you do the passive team, the first to the second feeding, it usually takes forever, but then it speeds up a lot after that. What if we could do two at once? Oh, dude, maybe we should do that. We should start taming this one and the female. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and try to give her some. And then we'll kind of bounce back and forth in between them. I might have to get the Shadow Mane out if we're going to be doing that because I'm going to run out of stamina quick. Oh, she's got some green fins. Oh, she's 20%. So that was definitely going to go a lot faster than this one. All right, so he didn't take very long, really, to want a second feeding. I wonder if it's going to be spaced out the same amount of time, though. Even though the levels are different on him. Get over here and see if she wants one. But she'll only take, what, three more? He'll take a couple more. That way... I mean, we'll be able to play around on this one. Oh, yeah, there we go. This one's going a lot faster, actually, than that one is. Maybe maybe I'll stick around over here. See if she wants a second one. Or a third one, that is. So it is definitely going a lot faster in between the feedings. I had to get the Shadow Mane out, man. I was running at a stamina quick. I probably should have done these separately. <laughs> Not at the same time. She should want another bite here really, really quick. Seeing how fast he did. 
Possibly. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. One more, and she'll be finished. Oh, two more. Two more. Head back over this way. Ah, oh, dude, I am so excited to check these out. We'll probably try breeding today, too. I'm guessing they lay eggs. I mean, turtles usually do, right? And we'll go ahead and do that out at our little dock that we have set up. So it kind of works out, man. We've got everything out there. i got to figure out what they eat. I don't know if they eat meat or berries. We'll have to do some testing to figure out and then fill up the feeding trough. I think it's kind of empty from doing all the Moses, which I still need to sort out, dude. We have all those Moses in there in the soul terminal down on the dock. And I need to figure out which ones we want to keep, if any. All right, this is the last feeding for her. Nice, nice. So we got her tamed. Let's go ahead and pick her up for the moment. I don't know if they're going to cause aggro with the other one. Dude, that thing is so colorful. That's a really low level one, right? So it seems like they go from down deep to up top and then back down deep. Kind of like the bigger turtles do. I mean, that's kind of neat. They kind of migrate around a little bit. That's one thing I would really like to see in Ark 2 is migration patterns or something like that. That way dinos aren't always in the same place. It'd be kind of neat to like see them move around, right? And it seems like the taming effectiveness is pretty good even with the biotoxins. So, I mean, it's one of their preferred foods, right? This or kibble. I'll get one more feeding into him and then that'll give us a little bit of time and we'll go check out the female. We'll throw the saddle on her. There we go. Where is... Where's my shadow mate? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Dude, he blends in. At least the blue one you can see a little bit, right? Let's go up here real quick. Just on the shore. We could probably take that off. So, our little turtle. Tamed out to be a level 82. A 5,900 on the health. Stamina is 1,800, weight is 2,000, and damage is 230. That is not bad for only being a level 55 that we tamed. I mean, it came out to 82, you know. There's a saddle. Nice, nice. Oh, dude, it is big. So they're slow on land, but I mean, that's kind of what you expect, right? It's all right. We'll get down to the water here. I like the shell color. It's like a turquoise and, and white. Oh, dude. That is fantastic, man. Fairly fast as well, right? Now let's go ahead and check on this guy while we're right here. I don't want to mess up his taming. I mean, it's a 130. We <laughs> really need to make sure we get him tamed properly. So he's only got, what, two, maybe three more feedings, and he'll be done. What you want, passive? And do you have any special abilities? I'll have to look it up. Oh, okay, there we go. So... <laughs> it's got a good bite. Oh, we got to get oxygen. I'll tell you what. Yep, 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 yep. That's a thing. Nothing on that. That's up and down. Interesting. I'd like to see what specialties they have. It's got to be something just besides that, right? I'd like to see if they get a weight reduction in anything as well. They make a lot of noise, though. All right, give me a few minutes. Let me get this one done, and then we'll check out the stat difference, and then we'll head back to base and try to get us some little eggs. We should be able to do all that today. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, dude, there's our other one. So I was looking up online while I was waiting for him, and it turns out that they are immune to jellyfish. They do have the only, the one bite, but apparently you can carry four people on its saddle. Of course, I'm a one-person crew here, <laughs> so it doesn't apply. But that's kind of neat that you have another transport, right? All right, buddy, let's get you up here. Get you in the sun so I can see your shell. Compare you to the other one. Let's turn this off. Let's get rid of this. So, this one tamed out to be level 194. 10,400 on the health. Stamina is almost 2,800. Holy crap. 2,400 on the weight. And 356 on the damage. Not too bad, man. Let's, uh, let's get this one out real quick. Want to grab the saddle off of this one. Throw it on him. It looks like they got kind of the same shells, right? The turquoise and the white. And then she has different different fins. I don't know. I kind of like the green over the brown. No, he don't you go messing with it. Well, I'll tell you what. You little thief. Nothing for you to steal, is it? Well, I'll tell you what. What's my shadow mean? Buddy. <laughs> I'll sit there being evaded. 
You like over here just soaking up the sun, huh? Cool. Well, let's head back to base. Oh, you know what? Keep forgetting we have the teleporter. Do this the fast way. We'll head back to base and try some breeding. That's not what I want. Teleporter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, we are way over there, man. All right. So, like I said, I don't know what they eat. Let's grab a little bit of berries. We have some? <gasps> we don't have any berries. Let's see, let's take... We got a bunch of these. Take five. That way we can put some in. Hey, what, that monkey is so loud, dude. Put some in here for these guys. Oh, yeah, they're, they're a little bit hungry over here. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. And let's see what's going on out here. We might have to move a... We have an egg incubator set up in here? We don't, do we? I didn't even think about that. Let's see if I did anything with the Moses. Oh, I did. Okay, I did get rid of them. These two I need to check out, I think. Okay, that's what it was. I couldn't remember, man. So let's do this. And then we'll do this. Nope, oh, wrong one. <laughs> Tell you what, if we could do some crossbreeding, that'd be pretty cool, too. This one. Alright, so. Set you to enable. Watch the fins, please. Watch the fins. Just as bad as tails. Alright, so they are doing their thing. Let's get some air. Well, we don't start hollering. You know what? I wonder if we can do this on the shore. So they lay an egg. Hmm. Might be weird. Let's let's do this. I know. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you guys. Maybe we can do it right there. Might make life a little bit easier, especially if I have to use the egg incubator, which I'm pretty sure that we will. We good? Okay. Let them do their thing. Let's run over here. Let's get Wingman out so we can actually get up and over our railing until I get that kind of fixed. All right, buddy. There we go. Let's see where our incubator is. It's not out here. It's got to be in here. I know I picked one up. There we go. Okay. okay well, let's go ahead and fix this now. Let's do... Stairs. Oh, we don't have any. I'll have to make some. It's fine. It's fine. I'll probably just put some right here. One set. Would make some up in the replicator. Where's the S plus ones? Oh, it's ramp. You forgetting, man. It's really weird with that. One of you, please. Takes forever. We really need to make that auto crafter. I think it makes stuff a lot faster than just doing it there. And we get two. Kind of weird. Whatever. I will take it. Cool. Alright, you guys got an egg for me? Still mating. Oh boy, I tell you what. It's going to take a while, huh? All right, she is just about ready. If anything, I can use this to pick her up if I can't get to the egg. It is... Holy crap, that is... That's a massive egg. So it is that. And I think we will... Let's set it up down here. Just because we have the soul terminal kind of set up to take the eggs or take the little ones and soul trap them right away. We can always move this around later. It's always backwards, boy. I tell you what. There we go. Almost forgot. Let's do auto control. Auto hatch. I think we should be set. Kind of a neat looking egg, though. 
So this one's going to be a male. So we don't need a male. We need a female. We're still going to go ahead and hatch it, though, just to see what it looks like. And it looks like it's getting the colors from, I think, the other male, right? It has the brown, and the female has the green. We'll pick them up and then take them over there to where the nanny is and let them raise up. I just want to see what the difference is, right? In stats and stuff, he's going to take a minute to incubate. Go ahead and just move you over here as well. Let's try to get one more egg. Oh, dude, that would be fantastic if we could get a female egg. Enable you. Enable you. Did your did your shell color change? See what I'm talking about? Sometimes, or maybe it's just reflecting off of that. Sometimes whenever I put them into the soul trap, it changes the color of their their eggs. I mean, <laughs> of their eggs, of their shells, man, of them. I don't know. It's kind of weird. However, let's go over here, take a look and see. Oh, dude, I had a so I was out here. Trying to get some of the Moses sorted out after we got done recording that video. And I had a pack of those fish. The uh, Arc Editions ones came through here. And man, I'll tell you what, our turret there was going nuts, man. But I took care of all of them. Did it? Did it already? It did. All right. Let's throw our berries into here as well, just in case. Totally forgot about that. And our fish meat, so we got everything. Ah, Junior! <laughs> Nothing like a little turtle, man. They're so little, and they get so big. So its base stats are 10,000, 28, and 231. It looks like it got some of the stats from the mother, which, I mean, isn't good. Like I said, we're not keeping this one, but we are going to let it raise up. I want to see what the difference in the movement speed and stuff is, right? Let's go ahead and just do the growth pulse. Speed this up along, and let's grab our saddle. Dude, that was so bright. Let me borrow that for a minute there. 356. And 230. Yeah, I got the... He got the damage off the female. Ah, oh, dude, it's getting towards nighttime, man. It's gonna be hard to see. <laughs> his, his shell's gonna be up here. Everything else is down in the ground. Let's see what she's feeding him. It's gonna be meat. Okay, I didn't think it was going to be berries, but you never know, man. Sometimes it's a little bit weird, and you end up having something you think wants meat, and it's berries. But you're, you're not looking too well. I'm just saying. So here's the thing. I think we need to move our jump pad. <laughs> I, was, I was going to get rid of the tech railing and stuff that we had, and I was bouncing along the boardwalk and hit the jump pad. All right, Junior, don't drop us. Please don't drop us. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and move that here pretty soon. We'll probably just move it out of the way. Maybe back there where the garden is. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. All right, well, he should be ready. I was trying to empty some of this extra stuff out. I hope he got 20% on his movement speed. I think he did. They always do, right? Well, I mean, not always, but... You are almost ready. So, yeah, he's going to be... They're going to be pretty tanky, man. I'm really, really glad about the weight. I'm hoping they get a weight reduction and stuff. Let's grab... He's almost done. Let's grab a little bit of Black Pearls. It's kind of one of the things I really want to see if he can carry. And get a weight reduction on. I don't want to stack. We're going to have to split that. Deposit. Well, I don't want to do that. Boy, I'll tell you what. Making this difficult. There we go. Turn that back on so we can see what's going on. Have you guys got another egg for me yet? You do. Kind of works out. Good timing. Throw the egg into there. See if it's a female. And see if it has better stats. Need to get some more lights out here. Make it easier to see. Uh, let's go ahead and just crack it open. It's another male. Alright, buddy. Are you done yet? 
you are 100%. So it came out 12,500 and then the 8,000 on the stamina. I've never seen stamina go up. I don't know if that is a mutation, maybe. It just doesn't go up by normal breeding. And then 2,500 on the weight and 270. So 200 pounds, 200. So he doesn't get a reduction in that. Interesting. I was kind of hoping he would. Oh, that's the... Yep, okay. I know it's going to be kind of dark. Turn the lights up. Maybe we can see a little bit. I just want to see how fast he moves with the 20%. See if we'll be able to use him for like a regular water mount. I mean, that's not too bad. Can we shoot off of him? Oh, you can! Oh, dude, with this guy being so tanky, with his health and stuff, and, I mean, he's pretty agile in the water, right? For moving around. Does he go backwards? He does move backwards. He doesn't side strafe, but he turns very, very quick. That might be a good thing to use for taming underwater if we don't want to use a shadow main for some reason. Yep, I know, man, I'm trying to get up here. Still the same speed on, on top of the land. Interesting, and then, like I said, he's got the, the places for four tribe mates. I think that's pretty cool. That is very, very neat, having a underwater... Because I think that's only one, right? That has multiple people you can use. We're not keeping him, though. I'll have to, uh... have to do quite a bit of breeding, probably off-camera, just to get uh, another female, or... We can try to find one to tame. Super easy to tame! What do you give us? Probably chitin or keratin. Keratin, hide in meat. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, dude, well, not too bad of a day. We got us, not one, but two of the giant sea turtles. We'll go ahead, like I said, try to do some breeding, get a better one. I'll do a lot of that off camera probably. I'll just set them on auto egg production and let it kind of go that way. Maybe I'll set out the bird's nest so that'll pick them all up and then go from there like that. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.